week. But in uh, September 15 of 1994, we have a uh, uh, detection about uh, five hours, more or less, on a radar and a new equipment that we uh, believe that uh, that equipment was uh, working in, in not a good way because uh, uh, it's not uh, human that you have uh, detection by five hours of the same object and apparently without movement. Well, we concur with the technical uh, persons of radar in our country that the radar system was working well and, uh, and, and it was very exciting and we surprised when uh, at the next day we received information about uh, a pair of this name in uh, Jaime Maussan that is uh, studied these cases in Mexico about that uh, a sighting a lot from a lot of people in the Metepec city uh, a very is uh, in another point uh, located southeast of the Toluca airport about a uh, uh, sighting of the big um, flying saucer apparently uh, 50 meters of diameter than uh, for a lot of people and uh, w that uh, let the uh, trash is something in, 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 the, uh, in, in the ground. Well, next in uh, November 90, 24, 1994, uh, we have on service officially our new radar system and after that moment we have uh, information very um, exactly about of these sightings at the same time with the pilots and detections. Uh, that's why I'm here because we consider in my country that this is very dangerous. We have a lot of more cases but I don't want to use more time in this. But uh, uh, it's very important that the people uh, on the world knows these events and uh, consider that could be very dangerous for aeronautical situation, especially in my country. I don't know why in my country that's occurred frequently, but the the point is that happens, and uh, and we consider dangerous, and we have only uh, unfortunately one trash, but we don't want to happen another one. Thank you very much, and I'm sorry for my. Mexican Air Force pilots capturing on videotape what are said to be 11. Count them 11 UFOs, unidentified flying objects. They are officially there. Bright objects, some sharp points of light moving quickly across the sky. The tape called historic by some. Members of the Mexican Defense Department saying it's the first time UFOs have had the backing of any country's armed forces. Now a group of activists calling on the United States government to end what it says is an embargo on the truth about extraterrestrial life. What is that thing on your screen? With us now from Washington is Stephen Bassett, founder and executive director of the Extraterrestrial Phenomena, uh, Phenomena Political Action Committee. Last time he was here, he was running for Congress, was un unsuccessful in that venture. But I will ask you today, sir, the Mexican government, the Mexican military says, hey, we took these pictures, these are UFOs. Um, what was that, do you know? This is significant for two reasons, um, Shepard. Uh, one, this is released by, by the Defense Ministry of Mexico. This is a message being sent to the United States government that uh, Mexico and many other governments are losing patience with our government's intransigence in ending this embargo. Uh, other messages have been sent by France in uh, 1999 with the Cometa report and by the United Kingdom when they released a substantial number of documents regarding the Bentwaters case in 2000. Many countries know about the extraterrestrial presence, but they've deferred to the United States with, uh, with regard to the timing of when disclosure would take place, but they're simply losing patience. How do we know this, by the way? Well, we know it by paying attention. I've been following this now for 10 years. We call it the politics of disclosure, the disclosure process. Hundreds of government witnesses in this country have come forward, uh, and other governments are putting pressure on our government. The media hasn't covered it thoroughly enough, Shepard. If it did, it would learn about some of the things I'm mentioning here and also learn about thousands of other videos and photographs that have been taken over Mexico by Mexican citizens. There's, there's absolutely no question about that. And his number, thousands, is accurate since 1991. Thousands of pictures and videotapes of discs, but never anything like this. 
taken by such sophisticated cameras on board military vehicles. Oh, there's been plenty of... But not, of not as clear and widespread as this and government confirmed in this way. I'm just saying that these are unusual. In oh, no, way. it's happened many times before, but this is the first time it's been released. Believe me, there is evidence like this in the archives of every major first world government in the country, but they release this publicly in a news conference uh, in Mexico City. That's the difference. Studies have been done that, quote, clearly indicate the likelihood of an extraterrestrial explanation. But there are people sitting out there, I'm hoping there are millions of people watching at the moment, who are saying, this is nutty. Why, you know, why, why do we even talk about such things? The polls show otherwise, Shepard. Uh, CNN time, Reuters polls, last 10 years, consistently. 50% of all Americans believe the extraterrestrial explanation accounts for these sightings. Up to as many as 90% of Americans believe the government is outright lying. Uh, the polls are unambiguous. Year after year, the same thing. In fact, if you could talk anonymously to people, even in Congress, probably 50% of members of Congress already confirmed, convinced that the extraterrestrial presence explains this phenomena. Disclosure is at hand. It is very close, and the American people need to prepare themselves very soon for an announcement from our government that there is, in fact, an extraterrestrial presence engaging this planet and the human race. A year ago, these planes were used to try to stop narcotics into Mexico. For that reason, they are equipped exactly like many American planes from the Air Force with very sophisticated equipment. The fleet system is reserved to America and some allies or some allies like Mexico on this war, drug on wars. And that's the only reason the Army has this very important element. The FLIR camera, the FLIR system, has a cost of uh, $500,000 each. For that reason, and because of also security reasons, not too many people or institution, institutions have this system. The only way we have to be secure that this system is working properly is through this clear company because when we were making the investigation, some American investigators considered that probably the FLIR was not well calibrated. But the FLIR box is sealed. And the only company that can open that box, that seal, is the FLIR company. I don't think this company, especially related to the military, can sell equipment that is not working properly. It has to work properly. It has to be checked and rechecked and rechecked every time, every few months. Then, I talked to the army about this and they said that there was no way that this system was working wrong. This is the flight, the plane, Merlin C-26A, with a radar, 50 nautical miles, and also with the FLIR system. This is the system that is used by the American planes, and in this case by the Mexican planes. This is the screen where they were able to see the object that they couldn't see with their own eyes. <clears throat> and this is the radar. They were able to locate a single object through the radar 
And they were trying to find this because they thought it was an airplane with drugs.